Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my bio exchange for this month of July. First of all guys, I am going to be taking out the money from my bills. So let's go ahead and take the money out. As you guys know, I did fully fund it my month ahead. So that money right there is going to pay for this month's bills. And this money right here is going to pay for August bills. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's just take everything out. For phone bill, I should have 25. So we have 10, 15, 20, and 25. Okay. Next, we got health insurance, which we are taking out 120. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, and 20. Okay, next for rent, I'll be taking out 500 from here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 400, and 20, 40, 60, 85. So 500. For my grandma, I'm going to be taking out $50. So we have 10, 20, 35, 45, and 50. So 50 and this money I'm going to be sending it to my grandma. She lives in Peru so I do send money to her at the end of the month. For my dog I'm taking out 10, 25, 35. Okay. And then that's all I'm going to be unstuffing from this binder. So now let's go ahead and move on to my bill exchange and we are going to be starting off with my marble binder because I need to bill exchange my taxes envelope because it is very very thick right now and I can't wait to make this thinner. So let's go ahead and see what we can exchange here. So let's see we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 7, 750, 8, 859, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000. Right? Okay. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000. Okay, I am going to take this money here. And now that I think about it, I forgot to grab um, a 1,000. Oh, what did I do? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to grab a $1,000 placeholder. So just give me one moment. Okay, so here's the 1K slip, okay. So let's see, what else can we exchange? We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. So I'm going to keep $4. So 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, so this should be $50 that we are going to exchange. And let's grab a 50. There it is. Okay. So the reason why I do exchange my money here for placeholder is because I do have a high yield savings account for taxes. So I do like to deposit money into my high yield savings account every time this envelope reaches $100. So that's the reason why I haven't replaced this with prop money because I haven't reached $100 here. But everything else is replaced by prop money. So I have $3,500 that is going to be in my high yield savings account for taxes. Okay. And yeah. So that's much thinner. Which is good now. 
now we can fit more money in here throughout the month of august so i'm excited for that i'm not going to be bill exchanging these envelopes just because i do take money from these um, envelopes regularly so i'm just going to keep this money in here all right equipment this i can since i don't really take money from here so let's do 820 so now equipment has 40. okay p.o box let's see we got 45 we can't do anything here emergency fund Okay. For emergency fund, I know I am going to have to put a 500 placeholder in here. So here's my $500 placeholder. So let's just put it right here and count this money. So we got 100, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, and 500 dollars. So I'm gonna have to replace all of this money with a 500 dollar placeholder. So that's all it's gonna have in emergency fund. Um, I know this money is going to be saved in the bank, so I'm going to have to create a high yield savings account for emergency fund um, so I can deposit this money in there. Before, when I reach the $2,000 in my emergency fund, I only had it in my checking account, but this time I am going to be depositing this money in a high yield savings account. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So $500 for emergency. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to exchange my 52 weeks savings challenge. Okay. And for this, I know I need a $500 placeholder as well. So I don't have any more. So what can I do? What can I do? How many $100 placeholders do I have? I have four. Okay. I'm going to have to take another one from here. Okay. So since I don't have a $500 placeholder that I can put in here, I'm going to have to replace all of these hundreds by my $100 placeholders here. So I only have four. I only need one more. So here it is. And let's count this money first, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six hundred that I'm going to replace by all of these. So we got one, two, three, four, five and one more actually so six right so we have one two three four five six so six hundred and then we have 20 40 55 65 70 so seventy dollars so i'm going to keep a 20 and i'm going to replace this money by a 50 dollar bill so let's do this one Actually, let me, let me do it like this. Okay. So for savings challenge, I have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. That is going to be in a high yield savings account for my 52 week savings challenge. And then I have 50, 70 dollars in cash. Okay. All right, so that is it for this binder, guys. Now let's go ahead and move on to this binder here. And let's see here. For savings, I need 
one, two, 20, 40, 50. Okay, clearly I wasn't prepared. I need another 100 placeholder. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and give this money account. So let's see here. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10. Okay, so I'm going to keep it 10 and this should be $100 that is going back to the bank. And I will be replacing it with a $100 placeholder. Okay, so for savings challenge, I have 1, 2, 3, 4,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, and 10. So $4,410 for savings. Car. Let's see what we can do here. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50. So $150. Let's grab a hundred and a fifty. Okay, so for a car, I have one, two, three thousand, three thousand five hundred deposited into my high yield savings account, and I have six hundred and fifty. So three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars for a car. Okay, next for car insurance, we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty five. So let's exchange this for a 20. So we got 75 for car insurance. Okay, next moving has $3,025. $3,000 of that is in my high yield savings account for moving. And $25 is in cash. For parents, I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 65, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, so 78 dollars. So let's keep 28, right? And then this should be 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so parents have 78 in there. Let me exchange this 20 for a nicer one. Okay. Okay, next we have OS envelope. And we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5, we have $10 here. Okay, so he has 50, 70, 80, 81, and 82. My envelope is empty. I do have to use this envelope for something. I think I used $15. That's all I had in there. So hell, we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 54. We're going to keep four ones and replace this money with a $50 bill. So we still have $54 for health. Loads. We have 10, 25, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So we can do a 20 here. Okay. So we have 20, 35, 36, 37, and 38 still. Let's see for gifts. Oh, we can exchange all of these for a hundred dollar bill because we have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. Yeah. So let's grab a one hundred dollar bill for gifts. Okay. Next for Christmas, we have one, two, three hundred. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. So let's exchange these for a hundred. And then we have one, two, three, and no, 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So five. So Christmas has one, two, three, four hundred and five dollars. So four oh five in Christmas. And that's all guys for my bill exchange. Um now I am going to be counting up all of this money so we can see how much money is going back to the bank. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this is smaller stack as you can see. All right, let me take my thumbnail. Okay guys, I was taking my thumbnail photo. Okay. So let's go ahead and count this money. I don't know why I grabbed everything. Okay, let's just put it in there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Then we have one hundred, two hundred. Two hundred, two fifty, three hundred, three fifty, seventy, ninety, four ten, four thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, five ten, five thirty, five fifty, seventy, ninety, six ten, six thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, seven ten, seven thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety. 8, 10, 8, 30, 8, 50, 8, 70, 8, 90, 9, 10, 9, 30, 9, 50, 9, 70, 9, 90, 9, 90, and 1,000. Okay, so we have $2,000 here. And now we have, and here we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. So 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. So we have 4. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500. So two thousand five hundred dollars. And here we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, right? So $2,530. I'm not sure if I counted everything right. I hope so, but I don't think so. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, this is all the money that I'm going to deposit back to my bank. Um, some of this money is for my bills for August and the rest is just going to be deposited in my Hayo savings account for their corresponding categories that I do have in there and like I said I do have to create my emergency fund savings account for that for me to put the money in there so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I hope you guys can check out the links in the description box down below. There may be anything that you are interested in. I do have the links to my shop and all my social media down there. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave this video a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, you guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!